بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيد النبي صلى الله عليه وآله وصحبه أجمعين ثم هذا هو بيون regarding the attack acts authentication and testing user and password from the switch topology to the i server in the i server when you configure your policy there is something you should take care of exactly when you configure the authentication policy and you define a user this authentication policy should should has the rule inside the authorization policy otherwise the uh, user testing will be dropped okay so right now I have internal user and I have a condition for him in the authorization section so right now it doesn't matter who's the internal user it could be in the employee in the accountant in any internal user account inside the ICE database so right now I am uh, I'm doing this this user is in the active directory section so if I uh, test this user the I server will reject this uh, testing and this th reject this request meanwhile if we test the um, this user which is in the local ice database the test will be permitted the ice will be will permit the uh, the request okay so the mo let's just get back to the uh, ice so this is the internal user the mo is an internal user but the authentication only pass because we have a rule in the authorization policy so if we disable this well, just let me go in here disable and save Now we have, uh, we still have the authentication policy and the internal user, but the associated authorization policy rule is disabled. That now, if we get back to the CLI of the switch, uh, you know, now the authentication to blah 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 is the rejected by the server. So the conclusion from this, when you build your your policy regarding the authentication and authorization it should have the authentication rule and the associated authorization rule to it okay so uh, completing this point if we get back and activate because you know the, the this user the rejected one which is a past user it is rejected Okay, because of what? Because we already have a rule to him in the management. We have a rule for him, but we don't have a rule in the authentication section for him. So if we change the internal user to the any that any active directory point, we should have a an access request which is where all the AD join point you can choose this one this will do and done and save okay let's test back okay da -da. so we have a successful authentication to the ice server so again the conclusion when you create your policy on the ice server you should have the authentication policy rule associated with the authorization policy rule otherwise uh, you will have a, a rejected operation or rejected tasks thank you see you later